Hey guys! Today's spicy video is a guide on legendary reliquary spear and axe. As usual, my first team will be trust stone free with units that are fairly easy to acquire. Also, most of the gear from team 1 should be easy to farm in the farplane. The first unit is Skahal. He can put out a lot of long range damage while also casting support abilities like Guard Haste and Quicken. I recommend that he has a Lighting Esper on. Prunus Lamina and Spectacles will help him with faster casting and damage output. At this point in time, you can finally get him to 140, I think he would be worth the investment. The second unit and only MR in the formation is Salir. I chose her for this quest because she can have a move of 4. Also, she does have long range spells. Not to mention that she has a white mage sub job so she can heal as needed. Ildira is the third unit in the formation, her wide attacks make her a perfect fit for the team. She, too, can spot heal as needed. Ildira is also another unit that I think would be worth investing into 140. For the fourth unit, Black Rose Helena. She may not be exactly easy to acquire, but she is a unit that I would recommend building. A quick note about her for this quest, I recommend giving her Saiga Gauntlet. This will help her for Wave 2. It's not so much for the hate down but more for the movement up. The last unit in the formation is Mediana. Mediana has a move of 4 while also having some long range attacks. She does lack in AP a little. To offset the AP struggle, I gave her a jeweled ring plus 6. She is also using Bahamut because why not? So there's team 1, they can clear the first half of the quest fairly easy, but they will hit a brick wall on wave 6. That is why for team 2, I recommend you use your best mono element team. My second team is mono earth element. On wave 10, you will have to fight an Elena that's hard to hit unless you have guaranteed attacks. That is why I added Kilf to this team. She has energy buster with guaranteed hit. This second team is also using trust stones. Keep in mind when building your team too that you will want units that have a lot of reach. Have some way to heal up and generate a lot of AP if needed. You will also need espers that have map wide effects that will boost your team. With that in mind, you may want vision cards that increase the damage limit of your team. If AP is a problem, then perhaps use jeweled ring or vision cards that grant a higher AP generation. Enjoy the tactics. Move Salir to a specific spot, then use Thundaga. Are you prepared to Move Helena to a specific spot, then use Disable for some AP. I Move Skahal to a specific spot, then use Quicken on Ildira. Move Ildira to a specific spot and do nothing. Oh, well. Move Mediana to a specific so spot, spot, then use Blizzara Arcanist. Let me help you. Take that. Move Ildira to a specific spot, then use level water. Use Are Fleet of Foot with Helena, then lives? move to a specific spot. No mercy. Use Skahal to cast Quicken alive. on Ildira, then move to a specific spot. Oh, well. Move so Mediana really to a specific is. spot, then use Cosmo Plume. No. Move Salir to a specific that? spot and do nothing. Move Ildira to a specific spot and do nothing.
Let me help you. Use Mediana to cast Blizzaga and don't move. Move Salir to a specific spot and do nothing. It seems like I can do a lot of killing now. Use Ildira to heal up here and then move to a specific spot. Allow me to Not help. Bad. Move Helena to a specific spot and do nothing. Move Skahal to a specific spot, then cast Thundaga. Move Mediana to a specific spot, then use Vitalize on herself. Seems I'll have to fight in earnest. Move Salir to a specific spot, then use Thundaga. Move Helena to a specific spot, then use Devastation. Move Ildira to a specific spot, then use Holy. Move Skahal to a specific spot, then use Quicken on Ildira. Move Mediana to a specific spot, then use Blizzaga. Allow me to show you the rebel. Steady now. Move Ildira to a specific spot, then heal up. The magical powers are rising. Use Salir to cast Bolt Surge on Surges, then move to a specific spot. Move Helena to a specific spot, then use Level Dark. Unfortunately, Salir didn't kill Surges so I just used an Esper summon to finish him off. Move Salir to a specific spot, then use Bolt Surge on the pot. Move Skahal to a specific spot, then use Guard Haste on himself. I cannot let you leave here alive. Oh well. Move Mediana to a specific spot, then use Blizzara Arcanist. Move Ildira to a specific spot, then use Height Water on the pot. Move Skahal to a specific spot, then use Thundaga Disposer. Let's go get him. Move Salir to a specific spot, then use Thunder. Move Helena to a specific spot, then use Darken Focus. No mercy! Move Mediana to a specific spot, then buff up. Take this. Use Ildira to cast Holy, then move to a specific spot. Use Skahal to cast Thundaga Disposer, then move to a specific spot. Use Salir to heal up here and don't move. Move Mediana to a specific spot, then use Blizzara Arcanist.
move Helena to a specific spot, then use her ultimate. Use Ildira to cast level water and don't move. Use Skahal to cast Guard Haste on himself and don't move. Move Salir to a specific spot, then use Bolt Surge. Move Skahal to a specific spot and use his Esper or Thundaga here. Use Ildira to cast Holy and don't move. Use Mediana to cast Blizzard and don't move. Well then. Use Helena to cast Black Rose Hex and don't move. Can you endure this? Use Skahal to cast Thundaga Disposer and don't move. Use Ildira to cast Holy and don't move. All according to calculation. I shall end you. Mediana will go down here, but that is okay. Use Salir to cast Thunder, then move to a specific spot. Use Helena to cast Devastation, then move to a specific spot. I used Skahal here to purify the poison on Helena. Magical powers are rising. Move Ildira to a specific spot, then use level water. Take this! I used Salir to summon her Esper before the zombie gets a turn. Unfortunately, this is about as far as this team can go. The enemy Skahal will attack first. Let you leave here Not to mention that there is a Jaden that can snipe you from a distance. The best tactic for this wave is to allow the enemies to move towards you. Ildira can keep healing herself in the corner. By the time they defeat her, your next team should be very close to the enemies. For the next portion of the video, it won't be so much a sequence guide but more of a guide on what to expect. Take this! One last attack to land some damage. Take this! I'll let you see something really good. Now that my next team is in, I can land some AoE damage. The next wave of enemies are pretty spread out on the map. Are complete. So I will demonstrate with my team where to go and stand for the next wave while they also fight. The dragon spear pierces the heavens. 
there isn't anything too particularly hard about this wave, especially if you are using your best team. I did try to use a light slashing team for these last few waves, but they mostly specialize in single target attacks. You can technically use whatever good team you have but keep in mind that map esper effects are the best for putting out high damage for single element teams. I shall end you. I shall stop you. Yeah. With all my might. Yorel will spawn down here at the bottom. I moved Resnick towards Jaden because more enemies will spawn there. Just to the right of where Mockery will move, two more enemies will spawn in the next wave. Do not be reckless with your life. It's time to end this! Don't forget to utilize the crystals lying around. They will give HP and AP if you pick them up. I summoned an Earth Esper here because I want to clear this wave as fast as possible. I also have other Earth Espers equipped for the next level. Wanna see me get serious? Worry <laughs> out. We stand together. Defenseless. We are surpassed by none. Last area. If you are going to damage Igeon, make sure not to stand to close because it can inflict stop. The crawlers can do a decent amount of damage, so just be careful around them. You will want to move some of your units to the bottom left of the map for the next wave of enemies. Dragon spear pierces the heavens. With all my might, not will impede me. To arms. I shall stop you. Wide open. Well, that's interesting. Even with reflex, the crawler still hit Brally. Commence combat. According to plan. Easy target. 
target. The fact that these things gain back HP is what makes them annoying. Once the Esper gets summoned the rest of the waves should be fairly easy. I will say that on wave 10 the Odin Esper can be tricky. He has the potential to instantly down your units. The good thing about these last waves is that the enemies spawn in as groups. This makes it easy to drop some AoE attacks. I kept Kilf in this area because the last set of enemies will spawn next to her. She will also have the job of taking down Elena. Unfortunately, Mockery gets instant killed by Odin. Easy target. Darkness Much is my strength. Give 
missed. This is where you fall. Yes, don't. Not too bad. Having enemies grouped up makes it easier on the number of turns you use up. Hopefully, this guide can help you in some way. If you have any questions, just ask down in the comments. Thanks for watching.